of Jesus, O oh Lord. We open every shut door that the enemy shut in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that, O oh God, that you will enable us to reset our priorities. Oh, that our priorities will align with the word of God. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Father, Lord, that we will seize the moments, O oh God, that the opportunities you bring to us this year, Lord, that we will be able to discern, O oh God, and take it in the name of Jesus, and take it in the name of Jesus. Open our eyes of understanding. Give us the wisdom that we need. Give us the knowledge that we need, O oh God. O oh Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Jesus, you're worthy. Jesus, you're mighty God. We worship you, O God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We lift your holy name in the name of Jesus. You alone are faithful, O God. You alone are glorious, O God. We exalt your holy name. Father, we worship you, Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You alone are faithful, oh God. You alone are faithful, oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. When Pastor Michael was preaching this week, he said our lives, we fight every day, every moment, unless you are empowered and equipped to fight. You end up to be a casualty. But tonight, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty 
in pulling down strongholds. I want to encourage all of us to enter into a moment of warfare. There are things that you know that you know that you know the enemy has taken. But it's going to take a violent spirit. And the Bible says in Jeremiah, Chapter 1, verse 10. Uh, See, I have this day set you over the nations. And over the kingdoms. To root out. To pull down. To destroy. To throw down. To build and to plant. Tonight, do you want to destroy certain things? You need to root out certain things. And we are going to be violent. This, we want to take a few moments and destroy certain things that have held us in captivity for long. We don't need a song here. You know what you're fighting up against. For God has given us the weapons of warfare. That are might to pull down to destroy to root out to throw down hallelujah Amen. come on somebody I want to hear you shalabroza tayande you know what you're fighting up against and please root out root out those evil powers witchcraft root out destroy come on come on come on come on somebody destroy some power destroy evil power destroy limitations destroy obstacles Destroy them in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Redeem your family. Redeem your children. Redeem your children. Redeem your home. Redeem your businesses. Redeem your finances. Call upon. Call them out. Call them out. Call them out. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Reka Shataya. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Pull out your business. Pull out your business. Destroy every wall. Of resistance. Pull down every wall of resistance. In the name of Jesus. Man, redeem your home. Redeem your job. Redeem your job. Redeem your job. Redeem your finances. Redeem your children. Redeem your children. Redeem your property. That the enemy has destroyed. Destroy the works of the enemy. Regarding your family. In the name of Jesus. We destroy all powers of darkness. Every spirit of Antichrist. We destroy in the name of Jesus. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We pull down strongholds in families. We pull down strongholds at workplaces. We pull down the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Come on, Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Shalaba zeta. Shika tala bayade. Shika lebo zaya. Rika tala bobo bobo. Rika lebo zaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your glory come. Let your glory come. Let your anointing come. Demonstrate your power, Lord. Demonstrate your power, Lord. In the assembly of God. In the assembly of God. Will you do a new thing of God? Will you do a new thing of God? Redeem, 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 Redeem
We worship you, O God. Come on, a little more. A little more in tongues. A little more in tongues. A little more in tongues. If you can't pray in tongues, it's okay. Just pray the way you know. Shele Brosaya. Rakayale. Shele Brosaya. Rakatele Brosaya. Rakatala Laba. Rakalala Bayade, 
There is something that you are receiving from the atmosphere. There is something you are breaking in the atmosphere. Yes, Something is breaking. Something is breaking in the atmosphere. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. Something is happening. Something is happening. Hang in there. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yes. Shalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
we worship you. Come on, just worship the Lord with us. He is worthy of worship. He is worthy of worship. He is worthy of praise. He is worthy of praise. Thank you, Jesus, tonight. I'll put you in front, front of my melody. You're all that matters. You're all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You're all that matters. You're all I put you in front. We say, I'll put you in front. In front of my name. Oh, we've got 
Can we clap to Jesus? Let us stand up and clap to Jesus. Stand up and clap to Jesus. Clap to Jesus. And as you clap, as you clap to Jesus, can you just open your mouth and magnify the name of Jesus? Magnify the name of Jesus. 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 You are holy. You are powerful. You are gracious. 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 You are honorable. You are powerful. Holy is your name. Power to your name. Glory to your name. We love you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We lift up your name. Thank you, Lord. Rimo sekerebo baba baba. Rimo sekerebo baba bakaya. Maramaka soko ribo kasakaka. We love you, Jesus. Can I hear a big hallelujah to our God? A big hallelujah to our God. A big hallelujah to our God. Praise the Lord. 
Can you tell your neighbor, welcome to another day? Say, welcome to another evening. This is our last evening for a week of prayer and fasting. Praise the Lord. Now, while you are still standing, just make sure if you are in those aisles, just squeeze in because there are people who are going to come and you don't want them to jump over you. Is that okay? What I'm saying, let those who come late be on the side. Yes, there are still a few seats here for those people who are just coming. Okay. And the balcony still needs a few hundred people there. So, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many of you say that when Pastor Chaze preached, you were blessed? I want to say this, uh, Pastor. There is something that broke in the spiritual realm when you preached here. There are people that God brings to do something special that has taken long to break. And God brought you this week for that purpose. Amen. Amen. And today we are ready to enjoy and to touch that which God has put on your heart. Praise be to God. So at the end of the service, we are going to have uh, a love offering, so please, we are not going to do it right now, okay? So now open your heart. Open your mind. And together with me, can you welcome... Pastor, Apostle, Bishop, Michael, Michael Shazem, my friends, we need that big platform, can we? A big welcome, can you welcome her? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. It's nice to be here this evening. You may have your seats. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for the moment we have had together. But first of all, I want to appreciate the man of God, my brother, Peter Kasirivo. You do not know the gift you have in your midst. Coming to Gaba is going up the mountain. God is with you. Because he has given you a good man of God. Someone we highly respect in the city. Someone whose works speak for themselves. And his beautiful wife. We love both of you. Please help me celebrate the man and his wife. You know, you do not know how much you have until it's not around. But when you 
It's good to ask God to open your eyes. Spiritual eyes. To know the privilege of being where there is a blessed person. Amina. Amina. I, I enjoy preaching about a blessing, but that will be another day. But uh, when a blessing is on a person, do not move away from that person. And spirits know where the blessing is. But wisdom sometimes, di lack of wisdom diverts us from where, with, where the blessing is. Uh, I've told this story, I think, here about a young girl called Hilda. I, I tell a lot of stories. For, for me, it's the best way to teach. Because you are so forgetful. Hilda came to me. Hilda And she was a member of our church. But you know, Hilda was working with a boutique. On, on Grand Imperial. Though Hilda was young, you could feel the blessing. Do I have a witness here? Do you know what it means? Do you ever feel a blessing? Maybe, to be feeding. So I told you, I don't want you just to spend, to think, Kano, we have to fill our things. Hallelujah. Remember, we read First Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 2. Paul to saying me. to the Corinth that when I, brethren, when I came to you, I did not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to Kano babes. Because sometimes you go to spirit people thinking they are spiritual, and they tune on that carnal look, carnal face, carnal mind. You know, we are spiritual. Mumani bulungi Paul ngaba yate kamba kolinso sogera namwe ngaba mo nyabu labo mubiri abalo uz gaba na ba wele nemwe muri ba mo yo so I, I tell you, you you teach your spirit to know where the blessing is. Go ke nini go igrizo mo yo go o kutunula wo wali kutambula fa. So you just don't have to walk aimlessly. Now let me tell you, Hilda, because I, I, I want to run with a lot of things today, tonight. Hilda was young. But you could feel the blessing on her. You know, you don't have to be of conspicuously blessed for people to know that you are blessed. You go read about Jacob. Hmm? When Jacob is working for Laban, what does Laban do? The Bible says Laban consulted his gods. And the gods told him, You are getting rich because of Jacob. <laughs> Even Luvale knows what he cannot do. <laughs> hmm? Remember? Remember Potiphar. This man Joseph enters his house and is exuding the spirit which brings prosperity. And Joseph is en route to conspicuous blessings because meanwhile he's like a slave but he maketh people rich. I may appear as though I'm very poor. When I'm a steward of the unlivable world, tell your neighbor, ask me. When people look at me, they say, I'm not a blessing. I'm not a blessing. Yeah. 
Hilda. Hilda. Working at Grand Imperial. Grand Imperial. In a boutique. Mu boutique. About in by that time she was making five hundred thousand Uganda shilling sales per day. She was working for a lady, a rich lady. Since I've already left, let out her name, I won't mention the name of the rich lady. Because some of you may work it out. And the rich lady was also a member of my church. And she came and told me, Hilda sells 500,000 per day. Now, Hilda is not that funky, overdressed, over cosmetized. She is plain, plain, raw. So she doesn't have to force anything. Now, Hilda, Hilda puts her Bible on what is this selling thing? The counter, whatever they call it. I take a Bible yaku counter. Big one. Enene. And she reads as she sells. Now the boss is telling me. Mukama we amburida. If we can, if I can change Hilda. Singa sabolo kuchu sa Hilda. I can get better sales. Because she doesn't have customer care. She's not flamboyant. She's not, she does not have the Brazilian hair. Which I change Hilda. I get a Makerere graduate who is <laughs> no Bibles on my shelves. Then we are in the money. I told her I wouldn't do that. But because she, you know, sometimes people say, Pastor, do you do business? Do you know what's in the marketplace? We know what to do. And you know, she... She disqualified my my my. Oh, answer. my business with your money. Your money is going to master. And to cheat you, we are ready. We are going to get number one at a gatuara. In a matter of months, Mubiasi mitono nyo. Little Hilda was fired. Hilda neba musibu la kumurimu. With a little gratuity. Mwatu na kasi mokatono nyo. And she came and told me, my boss fired me. Nadia na mburi dantu mukama wange ya nsibu de kumurimu. And the boss hired. A flamboyant girl. Mokama wena le tom walori in the bakwani. Put her in the shop. Namuteka muduka. And the sales went. Abagula bona neba kende rabati. But she had the charm. She could she could greet you even before you are in the shop. She looks nice. But she can't sell the way Hilda, who's reading the Bible, sells. Ngari no rurimi orutunda. Ngari yogera burungi. Neyenga tasobora kutuka kuhiri dengeri jabi tunda. Now, kakati, this lady, umucharuno, the boss, nanyini du kari. She starts feeling, oh, oh, probably I made a mistake. Nata anduko kuchuri ya chita vika nasara wuwi. Then in the dream at night, she had a dream of her boutique. In Toto, it was at night. And there were lanterns in the shelves. Remember those lanterns which... Uh, all the shelves were full of lanterns with Hilda standing at the counter. Then she saw herself call Hilda out. When Hilda stu stu stepped forward, 
The lanterns moved with her. And the shop was in total darkness. So she came to me and told me I had a frightening dream. Hilda left with the glory. You get Taina lipstick, Taina Angela, Taina Bichi, Ne Hilda in a Tarezitambula. So she didn't have the lipstick, she doesn't have all the, the beautifications, but she had lanterns walking with her. You don't have to joke with the people who you don't have to joke with the people who are casual. Sometimes they have their own goal. Now, let me give you the other side of the story. Hilda fired. She went to look for another job. Of course, she's blessed. She went to a, 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 an NGO caring for children which was about to close down. And she asked for a job. And the boss told her, we are laying off staff. And Hilda says, I don't mind, I will work for peanuts, but I'll be with you. The boss said, okay, it's your choice. Give her a job. And gave her something close to the administrator. And when Hilda joined this week, Next week, the fund has said, we have got double portion for your place. Hmm? Hmm? Now this boss, uh, all these names, you would know them, but this boss said to Hilda, because the boss had spiritual antennas. And he could interpret life and its happenings. So, the boss came and said to Hilda, you girl, you must be having something. We were closing down. We have been going for six months. Nothing good has happened in this place. But you came here last week and things are blossoming by times too. Listen to what he did. He, he said, Hilda, I give you a special office. And that my car is yours to travel in. You have a driver. Now, the other lady of Grand Imperio had just left my office maybe a week to tell me that things are not moving well since Hilda went and I had a bad dream. Can you, Pastor, can you call Hilda to come back I will increase her salary. A car came into the church compound. Because you know, Hilda was short, so you couldn't see the whole pastor. <laughs> I'm seeing someone little in the back. Shepherd driven, being driven. And then I'm looking at this car. Hilda comes out. Hilda and And she comes to my office. office. And said to me, Nangamba. Pastor, Musumba. landed a big job. I'm the boss of myself. And she said, 
Nangamba. Gone are the border borders that come walking in now. I'm moving in. Then I told her, by the way, your boss was here saying she will give you an increase. Hilda said, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no turning back, no turning back. I don't know whether you have understood what I'm talking about. of exhortation. So it was not in my preaching, but it was just so if you see where there is a blessing, you don't have uh, to simply rush to whatever it is. Things are coming. Be where there is a blessing. Bero wali o mukisa. Kadi mamula ba amagani zamani ni yonaya mukisa ya amagani zate jenkana. So you see many churches, but the level of blessings of each churches are never the same. Oja kuvenyo and the blessing of the Lord make it rich. Na yewali o weye wala. The blessing of the Lord also avoideth. So. <laughs> Do you get me, friends? So you, you don't need, you just need to interpret the situations. And if you interpret well, you will know that being at Gamma community is a bliss. So you leave with this church and all of a sudden everything will go bad for you. And what will make your life worse is just failure to discern where a blessing of the gold dwells. Jacob, Jacob works 14 years. For me. But he's a bearer of an anointing that is making his boss rich. Yeah. Is it ever a loss to serve someone who's a blessed? No, the essence is that that person is blessed and he is making you blessed. Now, when Jacob decided to become rich, and he was asked, what do you want? He said, the spotted and speckled are mine. And what did the animals start to do? They started producing spotted and speckled. Meaning that my boss' wealth is mine. You go read about that deal, how the whole night Lebanon and his sons were chasing all the spotted and speckled, taking them very far from all the other beasts. Already. You, you, you have not to wrestle with somebody who is blessed of God. Do you get that? So, so when you see where a blessing is, don't say anything else. Just start to tap the blessing. Praise the Lord. 
Let's, let's leave it to that point, uh, but it's very important. When you are in settings where people are blessed, you, you, you get jealous, you go see. But Vamo logo logo, sema nyibi chibi chi, vamo gossip meeting, gena ononye omokisa wegova. You only need to prepare yourself to start, keep just your sense and start harvesting that blessings. Look where the blessing is and start harvesting it. Vamo I don't know whether you get this. People complain for nothing. The blessing has to come to your places if you want to get the things that you yearn for. What brings us to prayer? Because we are looking for a blessing. It is invisible, but it maketh rich. So what you are looking for in those prayers is invisible. And we, we do not have spiritual eyes to see what's in the heavenlies. But you know, there are blessings, deposits of blessings up there. Let me give another example. I just don't know whether I'll preach my sermon today. There's a man in Kampala. He was a hawker. He was walking the streets. And he met three other young men talking about the power of Jesus. And he listened. He, he was holding and he said, he stood there and listened to them Testifying about the power of God. Oh, a church God did this, a church God this, did this. And this man was completely mesmerized. He stopped and listened and he said, What your name is God? Is your God? They are doing other things. And they continue, and he said, please tell me where this place is. And they told him, it is in Namidembe. They were directing him to to Pastor Kaiwa's place. It, is many, it is many years ago. It's about 30 years ago. And the man said, I don't go hawking anymore. I'm right now getting a taxi to go to Mengo. He got in to Namirembe, Mengo, Pastor Kaiwa's place. He, he did not know that it was Pastor talking to two other young men. When he arrived, he said, I want to see Pastor Kaiwa. He was talking to him. And he asked him, what do you want? He said, I'm fed up of poverty. Fed up. And I asked him, so what do you want him to do for you? He said, as he has to get poverty out of 
my life. Now the other two boys speaking with pastor were laughing. Then pastor said, I am pastor Kayuwa. The man said, putting his shop down, Pastor, Musumba, do whatever you want to do. Do you get that? He just said, with no doubt that whatever pa the pastor will pastor, do will transform him. Kolaburi joya galo kola. Nagama pastor, do whatever you want. And you know, pastor, you know, pastor Kaiwa functions in supernatural. And he told him, Namugamba, roll. Wevulunguri. <laughs> and that man. And the others were saying, Mama, nyabu, la, 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 la. <laughs> he, he comes back. Now and he tells him, Go back. Then he came back the third time. And he told him, The way you are messed up with that dust. That's the way you'll be with your finances. You know what the man said? Thank you. He picked his shop and went away. Friends, you should see the man. The others were busy laughing at the story. They always talked to him. They 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 Whoever harvested the blessing was coming from another place, far from them. He picks it up from you as you are there with it. So he just don't simply come just to show up to the church. Come when you are expectant of anything. Come expectant of something. Something which is about to break. You could have entered this room jokingly. So my coming to this place, I did not actually plan for this week. Bishop, we are numbered. But when the bishop said, we should have come." So and the spirit of the Lord whispered to me that you did you not say that you will obey this week, this year. Whether you feel tired or whatever, the way you feel, you have to go. Go. So we did not come to this place. 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 We did not come to Look at your neighbor and see whether he's awake or he's already sleeping on us. There are people who slumber in such a very important time. So that's important. For me, I think you guys need to know that the prayers you made this week were not in vain. This month were not in vain. But may God concretize what you sought and may he bring it into reality. Give me, give me John 8.31 and we go for a little while in the word of God. This is where we started. We started. And this is the most important scripture. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, 
You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. Mubaba <laughs> Then Jesus said to those Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. So it means that there are those who are casually there. But the difference is how you relate with the words of Christ. He is saying there is a secret, there is power that you are going to find in relating with the word. I'm a theologian. I'm a theologian. I, I, I have read the books. But there is no book like the Bible. And I've realized something in my theological classes. After reading every book about the Bible, you stay in the Bible. And I've read volumes and volumes because you summarize, you edit, you do what, you summarize, you write, you, 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 you review books. You see, theologians trying to shape your mind in a certain way. But then when you go back to the Bible, the Bible is like a plumb line. For Na it, it is saying this is the way. Walk in it. Nayate what they am Bible no chetegereza kumanga yeringa biriji. Okay, no kuranga bali baringa bali ba wabiye. Neku kumi ya wanu wali na ini. You abide in the word, not the commentary, not people's ideologies. You abide in the word. Na tu gambi tu nyerere muci gamboche. So si bali mu ngeli jiba chivu nula mu ngeli jiba chitegera mu. Read it, read it the way Olinaga. Yes, not a black mass. Actually, they are little black massy. A idea tambour could be Zibu Yaba, a Yobiera Vide. So, man, yes, not a tambour Kuchi. So some people will say that Jesus never walked on water, just walked on people's troubles. But the Bible is plainly like saying he walks literally on water. You, you do your fair exegesis. The Bible doesn't hide anything. I told you it's not like a story of James Bond. The Bible tells it as it is. We, we know when the, we know that when James Bond movie starts, he will not die. But, but, but start up for one more. Mm. So you see, can you even imagine that in the movies you see people twisting the bullet? As was a comment read the Bible, "Zichu sachu sebi into zikula gevi into evitariyo." Stick to the Bible. So that's the kind of the commentaries. Ne Bible je tu batule meira ko. The way it comes, read it, believe it. Do what it does. My, my mental background is scientific. So 
for me, you know, I always tell people in science, we do not discuss, it's equal to. Eh? science. <laughs> You cannot say one plus two discuss. No. It is. So, for me, if the Bible says God will do it, He does not say discuss. He is going to do it. <laughs> All of, uh, is keep your heart simple. Read the word as it is. Make your Bible your friend. Believe as a person and read your Bibles. Get into Bible study groups. Get into home cell groups. Get into discussion groups. Get into study groups. And read the word. The word will make you free. You shall know the truth. And the truth will make you free. It's important. So, we shall win the war. That's what my Bible tells me. Let me give you reasons and I'll quickly cruise this because I've eaten all my time trying, trying to do a preamble here. A Christian determined to win the war shall definitely win the war. They will win. They will win. Number one, because of the numbers. The numbers on our side. Yeah, because you remember Elisha with his servant in the morning. Second Kings 6.16. There is the Syrian armies surround Israel. And when he wakes up, when when Elisha wakes up, he sees his is it second kings? He he sees he sees all these horses surrounding them. Second Kings six sixteen. And there is panic. But Elisha does not panic. Because he looks at the physical problem. Then flips into the spiritual. And then he sees what's in the heavenlies. And he says to his, his servant, Do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. You may be walking alone, but being escorted by a majority of angels. Hallelujah. No one shall overwhelm you because you, in the spiritual you have Horse multitudes of angels on your side. So you will win because you need to awaken your heart to the multitudes who are backing you in your battle. Multitudes and multitudes of angels on your side and the enemy has multitudes and multitudes of angels. So the, those who try to bewitch you, they only have one, angel, one kind of diamond to, to attack you, but our, most of angels. Our eyes should be open to that reality. 
Kambia bilozo bia fe. Biberenga bioji bizibu, bizibu fu area mazima gagesimba. Remember your prayer activates your the emotions of your angels. Joku ilo kusaba kwa kwe kule tetaba malaiko kugolo kukutandu kwa kuwele za jori. And that's a, a sad reality. All the sad reality is that angels do not just rush into an issue. You Kwe, are the one to prompt them into e, action. E china kuwaza, malaika, ta malaika golo kakuluwa anirida. Goli no muga, malaika kuboyo. Ojilengena. Ojilengena. Now, now, there is a book called Piercing the Present Darkness. I think it's called Piercing. I, I, I read it many years ago. But it begins with the pastor in church praying. And there's a carnival in the city. There is a parade going to take place. The gay community, you know all those parades and how they happen. Now in that book, the author says, on that one end of the city, Demonic forces were arriving to be part of the parade. And they had come to be part. Now, on the other side of the church, angels arrived. Two angels arrived. The hosts of evil were arriving on one end. And the author says they were meeting in a basement. Pride, greed, murder, rape, all these demons were coming. The city had prepared their stage to arrive. Because if you declare that there are going to be functions which do not honor God, diamonds have to join. And on the other side, the angels were talking, and this is why I brought that story. The angels said, we cannot wage war because the prayer threshold of the city is low. No enough fuel for us to do our work. They have arrived. But they cannot attack. Because the base of their attack is the prayer threshold of the saints. So they say the best we can do is to protect the pastor. And a few prayerful Christians may go through this unheart. And one angel says, I wish this church had prayed. But the pastor prayed for the rest alone. So, multitudes may be on your side, but you activate, you activate the spiritual. Remember the Daniel story. When Daniel set his heart to seek the Lord, the Bible says his prayer was heard, yeah. and an angel was released. And an angel was released. But an, an, that angel found a resistance. Now, Malaika, 
So things concerning the Bible, you don't have to assume. Read them as clear. So was the angel resisted? As... Yes, that's what the Bible says. Was he, released, was he released by God? Yes, that's what the Bible says. And that angel said, I was left there alone. Daniel was going to push beyond two days, he was going 21 days, Michael was released. And reinforcement. Do you get this? So there are some angels who are ministering to some of us. They are very, very tired. Wherever he sent, <laughs> 10 years ago, He's there wondering why he can't Kubango pray. Kasanyi, buli runaku, buli mumere, buli runaku, because you eat like a caterpillar. You and, and you always complain, what has God done for me? I need a, a spiritually active life. Njagala. You attack me spiritually. You find a fortified wall and a mighty recoil against your works. You get it that? Let me show you a scripture. Job chapter 8. Verse 6. So every Christian has to charge their lives. Because you can win that war. You can win that war. Listen to this advice. If you were pure and upright, surely now, he would awaken for you. He would prosper you to your rightful dwelling place. Huh? Let me take, give you verse 6. Verse 5. Verse 5. Let us get verse 5. It's like a word of advice. Singer, mm. If I were you, look at this. If you would honestly seek God, and you make your supplications to the Almighty, eh? come on, bring the next one. If you were pure and upright, surely he would awaken for you. It's personal. Give me another version. Give me another version. Because, you know, give, give me another version. Go to verse 5. NIV. NIV. But if you will seek God honestly, and plead with the Almighty. Uh -huh. If you are pure and upright, even now he would rouse himself on your behalf. Hallelujah. I don't mind. Hmm? So, he would have said 
up for yourself. So if you just entered the place, say, <laughs> so if today we have prayed, yet you have not prayed yourself. But if you do honestly cry out to him, and be pure in everything that you do, God would have stirred up for you. Hmm? Oh, oh my, you know, now that's where me and theology get into trouble. Because a roused God on behalf of Katona, no Mutukako, Sebo Guerinia Yuguan. So what's your name? Bia Katonda. Netuga Katonda. No Muvuza Racho Tanku, Senagamba, Rabia Katonda, Dinabianco. So, and you ask him, no Racho Tien, Bere, no Jendi Moa. Hallelujah. No Tankula Katonda. You, 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 you disturb the peace of your good. In 19, I think Pastor remembers that in 1983, there is a man called Roy Daman. He came into Uganda. Yaje Uganda. 1982. I was a young Christian, maybe one year in the Lord. But I was praying like I'm going to die. Because pastor one day called me, my pastor called me and said, my courageous sabano kaba bot yonga katon yes we talk of firida. Kwega mane na Peter and said, how do you pray like that as though Jesus never died for you? Because I used to begin at this time and go through the night. Kubanga na tani kanga sawa sino neke so would be I pray, laugh, cry through. Until morning. Then, then they reported me to pastor. That he is over praying when Jesus said, before you say anything, he already knows. Nayuna <laughs> So people complain that he cries every night, he disturbs our peace, and then the pastor summoned me and cautioned me, why do you pray like that as though Jesus never died for you? Senior six vac nakunganya babubu kabanang. In senior six vac I mobilized all my friends to pray. No, you could only come with a bottle of water, and you never leave the premise, and you pray. Kati Roy Daman Wajja. Kati Damari Wajja. To gain that Kusita Square. And to gain that Kusita Square. And when we reached Kusita Square, but what okay you? He preached. He wasn't a good preacher. Ya buli da neyenga simu buli za kuata bantu mo wapido. But he healed all the sick. And he said, Kampala, are those the only lame people you have? I was so blown away. I said, is that the Jesus I believe? Yes, sir. And I tried to reach him. And the ashes bounced me. So I went and told my brother that you know something is happening in Kampala. And we came together the following day. There was a man called Odot. He was a black belter, prisons taekwondo. You remember him? I don't know whether you know him. Now, because we were young, we were in taekwondo clubs and so on. And so, Odot was a god in our life. Because he, he, he has a black belt. He, he's, he walks like King Kong. Odot was 
at the crusade. So we were looking at him and Daman. Daman was explaining the power in the name of Jesus. And he said to us that one day thieves entered his house and he called the name of Jesus and they were slain by the Holy Spirit. What is this? <laughs> then Daman said, I'm going to demonstrate the power of the name. He said, I need about seven of you to come on the platform. I'm going to call on the name of Jesus and you'll be down. <laughs> and you know, the, the seven people, Odot, went. And I, and I said, eh, Daman Yesu dem bisibu. I said, Daman has asked trouble over himself. Daman nagamba sija na batu nulida. Daman nagamba, I will not even dare look at them. <laughs> He's making life harder for himself. Then Daman said, Daman said, One, two, three, Jesus. Emu Biri Sat Yesu. Odot was on the flat. Odot. For me, that was enough. Odoti Asiba to Samba. So, <laughs> who always kicked us the whole day? So they just called out the name of Jesus and he laid it flat. I left that place saying, I need my Jesus to hear me when I call. I don't know whether you get to what I'm saying. Because God personally arouses himself for an individual. Surely he would rise up and restore you to a happy place. Give me another one. Which is not, give me another version. May God arouse himself for someone here. If thou art were pure and upright, surely now he would awaken for thee. Say, I, O oh Lord, arise for me. Stand up yourself for me. For every kind of that has bound me. May you see you stand up this day. I stand on my spirit to seek your face. Give a hand clap to Jesus. May God arouse himself for you and restore you to your rightful habitation. He would make the habitation of that righteousness prosperous. Hey, nyumba ye yobutukirivu so, you could be really Come on, give me another version and we will we, we, we'll see. We'll give it. No, 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 I don't like the New Living Translation. Hey, you must have a good day. Two ways of the world. How do you end up? Because the dark again, I come a message. <laughs> we go with it? Okay, otherwise, why would have God punished them? Here is what you must do. 
Do not put it off any longer. Get down on your knees before Almighty God. If you, you are as innocent and upright as you say, it is not too late. He will come running. <laughs> Agamir, what you got on the Aku Ababuni Riza? Moleke, Moleke, Moleke. We try ESV. Let us try ESV. Kati Mujukire, this is not normal preaching. Someone, you don't score me on my hermeneutics and exegesis here. I'm here not to share Christology. I'm here to share facts which will set you free. I'm not, I'm not proving someone's preparation here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just establishing We're your word. We're talking about the word of God. 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 Amen. We are trying to establish ourselves in the scripture. If you are pure and upright, surely he would rouse himself for you. And restore you to your rightful habitation. Oh my God. Take me back. Restore me. May you are all yes, my hand clap to Jesus. I've held you long, but you know. It's important for us. Now, we win because the numbers are many. We win because the strength of our God supersedes the strength of the, death, of the powers of darkness. First, the numbers are on our side. Next, it is the strength of God's Power is greater than the strength of the devil. Give me Revelation 128. You know, the devil knows how to raise the dust. It does not mean that he's powerful. I don't know whether you have that revelation. There is a story they tell about a lion which got a hare and was going to eat it, and the hare said, Give me five minutes before you eat me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Revelations chapter 12 verse 8. <laughs> <laughs> that he had to break all the woods. He plucked out all the grass and then asked the, the lion if he wants to eat to eat him. And lion asked, why, why did you do that? And <laughs> that when you eat me, at least they will say, Will I dare to fight for my life? <laughs> Give me verse seven. Verse 7 is the one I'm looking for. Now war arose in heaven. Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. So Satan fights back. So give me the next verse. But he was defeated. He fights, but he's going to be defeated. 
But, but you know, when you study this warfare, it is in heaven, but heaven applies the necessary resistance. Necessary resistance to overcome the powers of darkness. Now, when you read in geology, you find that actually when the Bible says Michael and his angels, that is a portion, a regiment. It is a small unit. Because it is the unit in charge which Michael is in charge of, which waged this war. God never came out of the bedroom. Because you know, you will go read, some of you enjoy study. Do, do the nine ranks of angels. Angels are in nine ranks. Angel Michael is an archangel. That is nine levels below. He's not even a, a, a full cherub. He's not among us. not among those who have a duty. I'm a real man. and the second heaven. God actually. Michael and his angels. Archangel unit. unit. I'm demobilizing I'm gamba don't be. Kigamba singa singa katonde ya yogere ya line sita ya ngambie bula wo na afuko mukati ya dise mukula bikapo. Era bo soma levels za warfare. Katonda tavanga na mukisenge no kutusa kati okudiringa full range ne ne issues isino. Kubanga twaze yingizamu so, you, if you read the scriptures, the, the God has never come up in his full power to sort and out in Revelation, when he comes out, he just breathes fire, and the devil is nowhere. So, I tell you what I said, and I said, Revelation, I said, I said, I said, I and the devil is finished. There no issues, Rakuba, God does not fight the devil out of hatred, but out of principle. He resists him principally. 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 He resists so, if Singapore I don't know whether you get this revelation. stampede Muguru. Michael and his angels. Lucifer and his angels. So, if you read the scriptures, you don't see that the whole heaven was under stampede. But so, so only these two angels, two when, platoons. When God comes out in his full range, to defend you, no weapon fashioned against you can prosper. Na yeka tunda, bwa jira mumani go kuruwa nidiya. Teri ka kuruwa ni saku na keba inzaku we saka inzaku la mukusaku chuo kugwe. Majitegera. You get that? 
But you know the level of warfare where we because that was angelic warfare. They threw him on earth, and on earth, Adam included us in the war. So we don't think God is just going to come out full range to engage in this war. Now this war, we have angelic backing and humans fighting the enemy. That's why God says, put on God's armor. He is not going to fight for you. It is your battle. Just as angels overcame you have to overcome. Kwe gamba, luno lutalo ba marai kabwa mu gulba mu tu surida adamu na tu ingiza mu lutalo ne setani kakat mukama katunda tu etsa zachimu tu ambale ebiyo kurani sabiyo nebiyo bwa katunda gaba marai keba mu wangula na fetuli ba wanguzi no kukira wu. I mean, obo bi tegedi. Are you guys understanding what I'm talking about? Do you get now? Moto gera chetu ogera ko. When you read your Bible, go soma Bible yo. Please follow what the Bible is saying. It, you will not find a scripture saying, then God fought Satan. It's not there. It's not you go check. When Jesus comes, he comes as son of man. He ne is actually helping us on our war end to fight better as human beings. What you think, Otherwise, God, by principle, has not yet come full range in this warfare. Because because if he ever... Ne, by principle, a message is not in the cupboard. So, that I should not in the cupboard. I should not be in the cupboard. I should not be in the cupboard. I should not be in the cupboard. I no. In this principle, God just give uh, just look through his armory and start to give you all kinds of weapons to go and fight for yourself. And you have to overcome. Are you guys getting me? So you cannot exclude yourself in the warfare. Now some people say, but the Bible says the battle belongs to the Lord. But then you need to hold it in context. Because not all the battles of Israel belonged to the Lord. He qualified those which belong to him. And there is reason when you read when he says. You shall not touch the Amorites. Mm -hmm. And he told Israel, when you reach the Amorites, just cut around them. Do not do them any harm. Then in the future, the Amorites attack Israel. And the Israelites talk to the Lord and they say, the people you told us not to slay are coming against us. Then God says, no, the battle is not yours now. So that's when the Lord is saying, the battle is not yours. Leave that no, to me. I'll handle them. them. The battle belongs to the Lord. The battle. No, they are nations. So, but when he went out of the battle, he said, the battle belongs to the Lord. So there are those battles that we have avoided under the disguise that the battle belongs to the There is also, I think, this nation, is it they call the Amalekites? Whom, God, again, God says that that one also belongs to me. Because he says in scripture, those really annoyed me. They, 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 they 
they refused you to from passing through their land. And when you are passing on the other side, they started killing those who are weak and tired behind. And God, and God swore, and I'm going to wipe them out of the earth. So whenever the Amalekites attack, God says, no, abo mubandekere, abo ba. So whenever the Americans attacked, God say, leave them. I will handle them. But belongs to the Lord. To inachi mirembe, I battle belongs to the Lord. When you don't have money, you don't have money. When you don't have money, you don't have money. When you don't have money, when did he ever say that that is his, his own battles? Now some of them say, we do not fight because we have the armor of God. But that's a contradiction. You dress in the armor to fight. <laughs> and actually the Bible doesn't say the Bible doesn't say armors win the battle. It is the skill of the person who's putting on the armor. Because there are many people in the Bible who died in their armor. One of them is Goliath. <laughs> Another one is Ahab. They were fully dressed, but they died. <laughs> it is the skill. You are not winding up. You are not winding up. You are not winding up. It's not just that I put on the helmet of salvation and also the helmet. Because God teaches you to make war. That's why it's good to be part of a prayer meeting and you listen to how brethren attack. There is a story told about Oro Roberts. When he was having a bad debt. And he called all these big men, we know the Benny Hins, the, the, the Copelands, and they were in a prayer tower. And they were praying for God to save that whatever city of the Lord. Because, because the debt was taking the property. And these seven men were in an upper room praying for three days. Then as they were there, Benson Idahosa arrived. When Benson Idahosa arrived, he said, man of God, where is the dead? He read, he said, this is nothing. <laughs> he got the document. Told the Lord to read. <laughs> then they said, in a moment of 30 minutes, he fell on the ground, groaning and rolling. And as he was rolling, the telephone rang, and one millionaire had given gave the money to the, to Oro Roberts. Hey, one million. It took a Benson Ida Osa to disperse that prayer meeting. Because, you know, you engage God and he hears you. Why do you need to come to a prayer meeting? Because there you hear people who engage God. Oh, you need to acquire the vocabulary. 
Chukwata guso kuiga boge la bigambo chinga basa mba. Kumanga osaba bigambo biebimu bucholo koka biebimu. Olino kuyingi la kawa wechito kotela. So, Oiga uh, kusaba. Sometimes you say the same words. Wherever you go you repeat the same words. So it requires to get into a prayer meeting like this one. Katonda you know kutambuli pray. rekonga awaga de chitala checho kusaba. So when the Lord, the Lord can walk alongside with you when you have sharpened your prayer skills. I prayed for a Mutoro lady hope, called Hope. You would pray for Hope. She was loaded with demons, my brother. But when you are in prayer and hope, we source. You go dry. <laughs> <laughs> and the pastor who brought me to, brought, brought her to me said, Hope is impossible. For me, I prayed when she whistles, I paralyze. Hope is impossible. So when in prayer, one time I broke through, but it was painful because whenever she would whistle, you would paralyze. And the demon just told me, you poor pastor. <laughs> you can't overcome me when you have not broken the, I know Mugo, the road which is at her home in Hoima. So because I was busy I told, Hope, I told Hope to go to Hoima And I sent a young man called Katerega My, my aid mm. To go and bring the, the walking stick Hope sat on the west side waiting for Katerega. When Katerega arrived in Hoima, Hoima, Hope was totally demonized. When Katerega got out of the car, Hope just went, Hope on half world what? Katerega fell there. Katerega na guawo. And he said, Katerega ngamba. He ordered them, put me on the taxi. Na gamba, muteke ku taxi. Let me go. Muzize Kampala. Then I go back to Kampala. It was not because Katerega is a bad servant. But enduring and fighting that warfare, you needed the skill. That's why the Bible says God teaches our hands to make war. You the situation, but you need to sit with those other people who already sharpened to overcome. So the, it's not Amas which win the war, it's the skill you have acquired in being with those who are praying and helping you sharpen your sword. When you are with people who are prayerful, they make your prayer deeper. So purpose, purpose this year to be a warrior. Continue but confess something which is positive about yourself. You are more than a conqueror. 
God is equipping you for warfare. God is rousing himself for you. Continue clapping, continue clapping, continue clapping. You are confessing that I'm not poor but I'm rich. I'm rich. Continue with a hand clap, whatever you do, I hand it. We are not We are now an army, we are not sheep. So what I tell you to do, you do. Declare yourself victorious. Declare yourself more than a conqueror. Declare yourself prosperous. Declare yourself healed. Your job is being secured. Your enemies are being scattered. Curses are being broken. In the name of Jesus, so they are being broken. Something is broken. Increase the power, 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 Lord. Increase your anointing, increase your anointing, increase your anointing. May you arouse yourself for God. Arouse yourself for Lord. For your son, for your daughter. For people who are sick in this place. Kidiza, 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 kidiza. Have faith in God, have faith Something in God. Something is breaking tonight. Something is going tonight. Healing is coming into your house. Deliverance is coming to you. The hand of the Lord is helping you now. The hand of the Lord is setting you free. Escape today. Escape today. Escape today. Escape today. Run away from the bondage. Run away from the prison. In the name of Jesus, everyone continue, continue. If you can, please declare victory. For one month you have been before the Lord For you have been seeking his face It is not in vain It is not in vain It is not in vain Diseases are going Cancers are disappearing Tumors are going Powers of darkness are broken Mayembe is broken Bitega you are broken Majini, you are broken. Curses, you are broken. Barrenness, you are broken. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of rejection is being broken. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of poverty is being broken. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of witchcraft is broken. In the name of Jesus, Romo Yese Keba Mamo. Romo yese da 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 ma, Romo yese ke ma ma ma, Romo ma yese ke ma ma, Romo ma ma yese da imidi da, Romo ma yese ke ma ma ma, Romo yese da 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 ma. We tankule, we tankule, we tankule. E chimala, chimala, e chimala, chimala, e chimala, chimala, e chimala, chimala. Enough is enough. Arise. Chimala 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 Amalogoga family, gamenyebwa. 
emisambwa jimenyebwa ebitega bimenyebwa obwavu bumenyebwa ebisibo obulamu bimenyebwa enzikiza emenyebwa olwalero tata wabewe kitambula olwalero wetankule olwalero yesu wetankule olwalero golokoka olwalero golokoka yesu olwalero sumulula mpulira manyigo pulira kubera woko Pudido kutewa mosi yo moyo. Amana baba toloka, batoloka, 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 abasibe batoloka, abasibe batoloka, abasibe batoloka, molinye dia yesu. Toloka, 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 toloka. Yes, vamo wavu, vamo wuru, yes, vamo kunyigirizibwa, vamo kuzirika, vamo kukwa mamanyi, abadi ema vega mongere mamanyi. Continue, something is breaking forth. Something is breaking forth. Something is breaking forth. Romo yese ke mama yese nerara. Chigenda, 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 chigenda. Chivayo mulubuto, chivayo, 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 chivayo mugongo, chivayo maguru, chivayo mchifuba, chivayo mbutwe. Mudido, 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 Kemoshena na ma yeserebo, rio moshe kema ma yesere na na. Wadi woku onyezebo, wadi webi amagere bige na mumaso. Abantu ngaba somolurwa, abantu ngaba tebwa, abantu ngaba toloka. Orwale ro tu agalaba malaika, ba yingire mu chisenge chino, tu agalaba malaika. But you let you sing a chino, to Agalaba Malaika, by Ingiramuchi sing a chino, to Agalaba Malaika, by Ingiramuchi sing a chino, to Agalaba Malaika, by Ingiramuchi sing a chino, Murido, 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 Leke dobo ziri vem mutima gwa mumakati Echi mala chimala Echi ni mnyumba ya chigenda Echi badechi kunyigiri za ichiro chigenda Echi badechi siba magezi go chigenda Zibiri za maso Lumba 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 Ebi kulumba mubiroto Ebi kunyigiri za kuchitanda Ebi tula kuchitanda cho Ebi ni muduka alio Ebi ni kumulimugo Lumba, 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 lumba Ebi bade ebi kulumba vyo na Tubi sasanya, tubi menya menya Tubi kutula, tubi jawo mulinya ya yesu Tubi seteza to be sigu kulula, to be menya menya. Oh, mudido, 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 Echitala, echidja wo sukari, echitala, echidja wo pressure, echitala, echidja wo kusanya lala, echitala, echidja wo bizimba, echitala, echidja wo amalogo, lero, 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 you are escaping. Shema ma yese ke nerana ma yoso Rio ma ka yese ke ma yese nerana ma Romo yese ke ma ma yese nerana ma Yongera, yongera, yongera. And if you are not yet baptized with the Holy Ghost, tonight is your night. You are going to speak in a new language. You are going to be filled with the power of the Lord. You are going to speak in a new language. You are going to get drunk with the Holy Ghost. May your language begin to change by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the power. 
Romo yese nde na 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 ma yese kebo. Romo yese na 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 ma yese kebaba. Romo yese ke na 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 ma yese. Tua la mani, tua la mani, tua la mani, tua la mani, tua la mani. Zebiri da julo moyo mtu kufu, julo moyo mtu kufu, julo moyo mtu kufu, julo moyo mtu kufu, julo moyo mtu kufu. O muga ya vwa singa yo, asumuluro rualero. O muna vwa singa yo, asumuluro rualero. Abadalu denga tatoloka, o rualero atoloka. Abadalu demu wavo, o rualero atoloka. Abadasa bobo fumbo, o rualero atoloka. Abadasi bidwanga tazala, o rualero atoloka. Abadasi bidwanga Mirimo, orwade na toloka, wereza, 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 wereza mani go tata, wereza mani go mukama wangi, wereza mani go rwadero, injegere, zikutuka, ebi siba, bikutuka, ebi rote bibi, bigeenda, abalogo, bagenda, abakoli mi, bagenda, yonge ramu dachi, kayonge ramu, yonge ramu, yonge ramu. Continue the prayer, continue. Amani gamu kama gaja jori. The power of the Lord is manifest. Pulida, pulida amani. I feel the power. Pulida, I feel. Pulida mafuta go. I feel your anointing. Pulida, I feel it. Pulida mafuta go Yesu. I feel your anointing. Pulida mafuta go Yesu. I feel that anointing. Zinga kete fortino Yesu. Sumulu la basibi duata. Release those have been bound. I feel your presence, O God. I feel your power, Lord. I hear chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. Diseases are going. Curses are going. Witchcraft is going. Powers of darkness are living. Fire. 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 Chira kachi gende, chira kachi gende, e chiba de chirwani ramugwe. O muri ro guchi tualo, muri ro muri ro muri ro muri ro muri ro muri ro, o muri ro muri ro muri ro. Muriro, 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 muriro. What do we chiku ta? What do we chigenda? What do we chiziki zechiduka? What do we viva debi chote mo nyumba ye bigenda? Ebi di mo duka adi o bigende? Ebi di mo diro adi o bigende? Ebi di kufami de o bigende? Ebi di mo nyumba o bigende? Ebi di mo chitanda o bigende? Ebi di kubudi di o bigende? Muriro, 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 muriro. Oh, muriro, 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 muriro. Shomo yese nera na ma yokose, romo yese kere na na ma yese kere na, romo yese kere na na ma yese bara na ma, robo yese na 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 ma yese. New beginnings, 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 new beginnings. I'm bringing a new work, says the Lord. Hende na mo se kamo yese na na. Romo ya amayembe tuka kuba, mayembe 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 tuka kuba, amayembe tuka kuba, mayembe tuka kuba, amayembe tuka kuba, mayembe tuka kuba, ebitega, nyabinji, emisambwa, orwale ro muriro, 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 muriro. Riyama sheke baba ba yesenera, Rama yesen. Something is lifting off. Something is leaving you. 
I have surrounded you, you demons. I am oppressing you, you curses. I'm breaking all of you tonight. I render you powerless. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Romo yes, I came a shock on my yes. Riyama said it and I'm a yes said it and I said it. Mayimba, 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 to God, Tema, what in your eyes? Every day got to be Tema, what in your eyes? I'm a logo to God, Tema, what in your eyes? Or rather, oh yes, to Tankuka, or rather, oh yes, to Golokoka, or rather, oh yes, to Sikuka, or rather, oh yes, to Kula Wenzeji, or rather, oh yes, to Somolula, or rather, oh yes, to Kole Mirimamija. Lembo yes, a na 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 na. Robo yes, Robo yes, Robo yes, What do you have Fuluma? A comrade, your legenda, and Jagan's of Zikutuka. The chains are being broken. In the name of Jesus, may all the chains be broken. May all the chains be broken. You are being made free. 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 Baku Sumulula. You are being set free. You are being set free. You are being set free. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes that you may see your victory. You see your victory now. You are seeing your victory now. Shemomo yes, sir. Romo yes, sir. Hey, hey, Father, it is this year we see breakthrough. It is this year we receive promotion. It is this year we receive our new jobs. It is this year we receive our weddings. It is this year we are building our homes. It is this year the poor are being made well. It's this year you are healing the sick. It is this year you are expanding your ministry. Romo yes, Romo yes, Romo yes, Romo yes, Romo yes, It is going. It is going. Omuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuriromuri
omuliro he 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 wali we bikoi ojagenda sitani ne boya galotia ogenda ogenda Moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu. Moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu. Moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu. Moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu, moyo mutukuvu. Holy Spirit, come. Landere bo wo serere daba. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit come Holy Spirit come Moyo mutukuvu jangu 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 Feel this place You said you for you know Feel this place What you said you for you know Angels of the living God Feel this place What you said you for you know Feel this place What you said you for you know Feel this place What you said you for you know Feel this place What you said you for you know Feel this place What you said you for you know Romo yes rebo Robo yes baba yes Something new must happen in your life. Something new must happen. Something new must happen in your life. May God fulfill his word in your life. Continue the prayer. Romo yes, they are those that are opening. What do you want to look Someone is escaping. Someone is breaking through. Everything that has been holding is being broken. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Robo yes, Something new. Something new. What do we chipia? Something new. What do we chipia? Wana. Be healed. 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 Wana be healed. Wana be healed. 
May you raise up your hands. This has become a miracle zone. Right now. Miracles are happening. Receive them. Between. Uh, it's the power of the Lord is being manifested. This time is for miracles. May your spirit be awake to receive the miracle. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle promotions. Miracle trips. Miracle healing. Tumors disappear. Complications being sorted. Receive the Holy Ghost. Time to extend your cords. Time to enlarge your tent. Receive the vision. Receive the inspiration. Receive the voice of God. Don't lose focus yet. Focus on Jesus. The close of Jesus. On his throne. Receive the miracles. Even today, Lord, I pray for more prayer warriors may the anointing of prayer the anointing of prayer you receive it Increase your anointing, O God. Let this church be filled with the wave of the Holy Ghost. Pick out those you want to pray. Give them a heightened anointing. Do not move yet. The Lord is saying nothing is impossible. Before him, nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. 
Habits are being broken. Laziness is being rebuked in the name of Jesus. Poverty is being rebuked in the name of Jesus. Generational curses are broken in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight we came as broken vessels. It's you who uses broken vessels. Father, pick broken people here and use them to bring revival. Increase your power. Fill us with the Holy Ghost. More of your Holy Ghost. Those who have never been baptized with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with a new anointing and fill them with the Holy Ghost. Stretch your mind. See what you want to see. Dream what you want to dream. All things are possible. Increase the anointing. Increase the anointing. Increase the anointing. Increase the anointing. Heal the sick. Set the captives free. And Lord, what can we say but to thank you for bringing us together for the opportunity for the vessels you use in this place for the father of the house and the mother of the house that Lord you have strengthened and protected them that Lord you have used them for years renew their strength and give them more visions inspire and empower them thank you for bringing us together Lord thank you Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. God is good. Mukama Mulungi. Obugalo to Bongereo, Bugalo to Bongereo, to Bongereo, to Bongereo, to Bongereo, to Bongereo. A bigger hand clap to Jesus. And can we give Pastor a big appreciation of hands? Please take your seats for a moment. How many of you say, I'm glad that I came? Praise the Lord. How many of you feel that you are better than when you came? Now the pastor has prayed for thousands of things. So if you've been feeling pain, just start checking yourself. Amen. Amen. Touch, touch. You know, 
That's practical. Amen. Can you do something you've not been doing? Amina. Amina. Praise the Lord. Stretch your legs. Stretch your legs. Is there hands. anyone who says, I feel God has touched me? And Wali Wali to me. Up up up. If you feel a change today, in Jesus' in Jesus name. In Jesus. Amen. Amina. Let's give Jesus a big Tatu hand. Tatu are there people who say, for me, I got, I spoke in tongues that have not been speaking or had lost it, but now something new has come. If you felt a new language coming your way, the Spirit of God took over. Just put up your hand. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's keep Jesus a very big hand. Amen. Amen. So God has brought an apostolic leader in this house. I'm going to come back to you. I know you were very busy. Next time we want to give you, we want you to give us seven days. And we need to work on it before the year ends. There is something that God has uprooted from this place. But also there is something God has planted in this house. A big hand clap to Jesus. Now we are going to give a love offering. When God uses someone so special, it's important for us to also respond in a very special now way. Because we are very many, can, can we have another basket somewhere so that people are able to... Yes, that is, that's right. That's good. So there's one up, there is one here. There's one there, yes. We we want want to be generous because God has been generous to us. Pastor Michael, you've done well. May God bless you so much. May God bless your ministry. Omega Healing Center is an amazing ministry. And you have this national calling. May God do your dreams because you've re released something among us. Next. Two things that I've had through this week. It is a year of the word. We need to go back to the Bible. Do you agree? There was an extra emphasis on what God says. So now I know that when God spoke to us about the word, he meant it. The second thing I've heard is prayer. Did you listen to that? The word and prayer. The other thing I heard is that you have the ability to fight and win this war. If you had it, say, yes, I did. That's what I heard when the man of God was speaking. Now, some of you used to come and pray here every Wednesday. What do we call that? And some of you dropped that call. This year, we are coming back to that call. And you know yourself. And there are other people who should sign up and come. If you're a man, put up your hand. Before COVID... We were coming early in the morning and then COVID came and we stopped. No, before COVID. Okay, so men, we are coming back. Yes, I know we've been praying online, but it's now time to fight. This is a fighting year. Praise the Lord. Uh, Tuesday, what time? What time? Five. Five. Men, can we do it? Can I hear some basses? Yes, we can. Yes, Tuesday at 5. Can you look at your neighbor and smile? 
Amen. Amen. If we are going to take over the city, we better start in prayer. In Jesus we have name. We've had also multiple prayer meetings. So the slumber of two years of COVID is going away in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's the year of the word. It's the year of prayer. Praise the Lord. So back to prayer. Back to the word. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for us as we are leaving tonight. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for our blessing, the blessing of the offering. The blessing of us as we give the offering. And we are also going to thank God for the man of God. For this prayer, can you please help me to pray? for the man of God. Just raise your hands towards him. Father, thank you for the gift you brought in this house. Thank you for this apostle call for this man of God. Father, he has released a lot. He has poured his life and heart to us. Lord, now we pray for a blessing upon him. Bless him, O God. Bless his wife, Father. Bless his children. Bless his grandchildren, O God. Let them see what they are dreaming of, O Father. Lord, we thank you for Omega Healing Center. We pray for that ministry, O God. Will you expand it to the glory of God? The nations that they are dreaming of, O Father. They have invested in us, O God. We are investing prayer in them. Lord, his apostolic call, O God, in the national fellowship, O God, I pray, Father, that you fulfill that call in the name of Jesus. Go ahead of him, O Father. Go before him, O Father. May God be glorified. And Father, for the rest of us, O God, you have blessed us, O God. Now we are going to go and bless him again, O Father. I pray for every man and every woman, O God. Every boy and every girl, O God. As we give, Father, may you bless every hand that is giving, Father. May they see that which they prayed for, Father. So bless their hands as they generously give. And God is people say, and God is people say. So we are going to bless the man of God because he has blessed us. Worship team, you just come and play something. Can we stand up, friends? Stand up smiling. Dig deep, deep in your pocket. And be a blessing. Praise be to God. Remember all the announcements we had during the day. Uh, one of our teams is, uh, some of us are going to Gulu tomorrow. We are coming back on Friday. Be praying for us as we go. On Saturday, we have an amazing worship experience here. Youth, it is your day, but it's also the day of everyone in the house. We have a special guest coming in from the U.S. An international worship leader. So please come and be with us on Saturday. The rest of the services are the same. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. Please, I know you don't want to leave, but Amen. Amen. we love you. Amen. 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 Amen.